Hi gang, I'm glad you're all here. I'm sure you've been waiting on me to do this report about the 4.5 earthquake that happened there near Medford, Oklahoma. Yesterday I did a report, I posted it onto my Patreon account about a small earthquake that happened in Kansas, a magnitude 2.5 in the fracking and the dangers of fracking along with the mid-continent rift system. Too much truth, I think, I've been posting. I tried to uh, do a report earlier, and my Google Earth wasn't working. Yeah, I don't know if it got hacked or what, but that was just one of the strange things that's been happening. All right, here we have an image of the Mid-Continent Rift. It is part of the failed rift system that once upon a time, the uh, United States was going to rip itself apart and create an ocean going all the way up to the Great Lakes. Here's the location of that magnitude 4.5 and I'll show you how far it is from the Humboldt Fault System and the Mid-Continent Rift. Right there. The yellow and red line drawn out. The largest earthquake ever created by fracking was in China. Which of course, yeah, the oil and gas industry in China um rejects that earthquake occurred in june of 2019 if you do a google search uh most of the oil and gas industry would say the largest was a magnitude 4.0 i'll give you a link to this article on reuters um it says here even the us gs said that fracking is causing only small number of induced earthquakes in the United States, with most coming as a result of the disposal of wastewater fluids caused during oil production. The Humboldt Fault is a good example of the problems with fracking. It is primarily a stable fault with no seismic activity. Yeah, what a coincidence there was one yesterday in Kansas along the same fault system. On a rare occasion, there is some movement. The increased drilling that accompanies fracking is creating its own instability while also loosening existing faults. The truth is the earthquakes occurring with frequencies in the country and probably around the globe is due to the ventures of the petroleum industry. A good example I think of is Sweden. Um, they were doing some fracking. They had just started fracking. An earthquake started and they subsequently stopped the uh, exploration for oil and gas in Sweden because of the increase in earthquakes that still continue today. The damage was done. When a well is drilled, it is permanent and the damage done in regard to that drilling cannot be reversed. No, it cannot. Some of the felt reports that were sent in to EMSC, there was a big pop and then rumbling for 10 seconds. Our house shook and it seemed like it lasted forever. They were 46 kilometers or almost 27 miles from where this earthquake occurred. 30, almost 32 miles south from where this earthquake occurred. They said they had low rumbling with minimal shaking lasting approximately 10 seconds. Another one, uh, west of where it occurred, a little bit farther away, said the windows in the house rattled and could feel the floor shaking. Another one, which was 53 kilometers, almost 33 miles south, said it was the strongest quake they have felt for a long time. Everything shook, doors, windows, mirrors, and furnishings. It was a long-lasting shake, did not feel the floor roll like others, I had I had experienced another one said it shook for a good 10 seconds there was three very slight movements after the initial quake so we got a 1.7 afterwards um, same depth they're all about the same depth and then a 2.4 so here's the location of that earthquake 4.5 this is the uh, Humboldt and the mid-continent rift area because at one time the country wanted to rip itself apart there's multiple fault zones 
fault lines that run from east to west in this area. So let's go to the 2.5 that occurred yesterday in Kansas. Right there. Okay, let me bring it out. See how close it is to the Humboldt and the Mid-Continent Rift System? Today's earthquake was about 140 miles south along this fault zone. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I also mentioned in my video that I made and posted for my Patreon subscribers how as the Earth's magnetic field weakens for the coming next uh, flip or reversal, whichever you want to call it, uh, we're going to see an increase in earthquakes. And I have been noticing um, this area and other areas of ancient fault zones are becoming more active. They become reactivated. So they have it as an intensity level on the shake map of 6 and over here intensity level 7. Which means everyone ran outside, damage negligible in buildings of good design and construction, slight to moderate in well-built ordinary structures, considerable in poorly built or badly designed structures. Some chimneys broken, noticed by people driving cars. Um, did any of you feel it when you were, you know, driving? And the shaking would have been um, 8 to 12 seconds long. So that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.